Welcome back to Switch to Linux. Today we're going to have a look at the Linux Mint 22.2 beta, which was just released over the weekend. And we're going to have a look at uh, the, the changes and talk about it a little bit. Now, this is not a major, major change as far as your alterations go. Not a lot has changed. We have a new kernel. This one is based on the hardware enablement stack, meaning that as you're, uh, you know, as you buy new hardware, we're no longer reliant on an LTS, which might not work as well with newer hardware. So you always have latest kernels. So we have a kernel update to 614. The other thing that we have is we have some improvements on Wayland. And uh, we also have a uh, connection with fingerprint readers, which can be used for a lot of different features. So let's go ahead and have a look at the um, release notes first. And I said there's, there's very few items. Um, we have the uh, hardware enablement kernel. Now, as far as looking at it, um, it doesn't actually tell us it's that, but after doing a little bit of research, I'm pretty sure that is correct. So you'll see here it says generic. I was kind of expecting it to see generic HWE, but I think right now it's just down to generic on Ubuntu. I did test to make sure that uh, the stack wasn't already installed, and so you'd run uh, Linux generic HWE 2404 enable to uh and do that and you can see we already have the latest version and so I'm pretty sure that the one that is in there already is that hardware enablement <laughs> I was just I was expecting to see the the HWE tag in there but um, I think it is still correct now this one does have the fingerprint authentication and so we have a new app for fingerprints. Now, unfortunately, my computer does not have it. I thought, do any of my computers have fingerprint readers? And actually, I don't think so. So I can't actually show you how this works, but they did feature this back in May to tell us what our, uh, our features of this is. So you can use this and you can actually index any of your thumbprints or fingerprints or, hey, maybe as uh, some of our users suggested, your toe prints. Who knows, you know. Uh, but you can use this to authenticate into your login screen. Uh, access screensaver, do pseudo commands, or run administrative apps. And so the idea here is much like your phone, it would do the fingerprint, it would stay, keep everything local to that particular machine. Now, I don't do that, I don't use those features even on my Graphene OS phone, I just don't trust it. I'd probably trust it on this a little bit more than on the phone. But even still, I'm probably not the customer for this, but it is good for those that want to use it and have access to fingerprint readers on your computer. You can more quickly log in. Now you cannot do it, of course, to uh, decrypt the uh, like the Lux um, uh, encryption on your drive on on startup. You'd have to keep using the passphrase, or hey, you could do the Ubuntu snap thing and uh, use the the um, uh, TPM module on your computer. We talked about that a few weeks ago. Now that is one of the changes that they have in here. Uh, the other change that we are going to see, actually I don't even think they make reference to it here. The other changes as uh, this one here, we have the new kernel, we have the fingerprint authentication, we have theme updates um, uh, and accent color. This all deals down with the libadweta compatibility they've been working on. And again, I believe they mentioned this back in this May article, which we've already talked about. So what they're doing here is starting with Linux Mint 22.2, LibAdWeta is patched to work with themes. So we have a lot better theme support for a numerous applications that in the past just did not have the theming the same way. So in this one here, they talk about the calendar. So if you pull up our calendar, uh, this will actually match your themes pretty much perfectly to with whatever our themes are we have the same with simple scan and I believe this is uh, I believe that is actually the disk analyzer package so if I type this in I believe that's what this one is I did look at all of these on the the main computer and they didn't actually look off uh, but um, that is uh, uh, that is what um, uh, 
I was able to see, at least on this particular computer here, they did work quite a bit better. Now, there's not a lot of other changes. You see, the only other thing they mentioned here in the Cinnamon Edition is input methods and keyboard layouts are more compatible on Wayland. Let's go ahead and just have a brief look. Uh, let's start with looking at the welcome screen. And uh, you'll see here that this is nothing is new here. And the desktop accent colors are the same as we've seen before. I think I have, I think I might have the dark turned on my, on my, uh, my host computer here. So let's just have a brief look at what that calendar looks like again over here. So this is what the calendar looks like on this computer here. Now, if I go out to my host machine, which is running, let me, let's not uh, try not to get lost in the midst here. This one here, my host machine is running 22.1. And if I pull up my calendar on the host machine, uh, that's the calculator. Whoops. <laughs> let me try calendar this time. <laughs> there you go. Hey, that looks good too. This is what it looks like. So you'll see that it's actually much, still much the same. So I'm not sure exactly as to all of the changes that were made, but it does allow them. I think what this actually allowed them to do is there was a time they were holding back the applications as GNOME's versions went forward. And now with patching that libadweta into their theming, they can continue on with the progression of the GNOME updates, which basically makes uh, fixing the, uh, the compatibility and keeping the newer versions in alignment with the modern GNOME that actually does a good job of keeping that um, in place. So again, it is a fairly minor update. Uh, it will benefit those using fingerprint readers who will be able to do more authentication with that. That's going to be your biggest feature. And we do have the uh, the latest kernels available to us. So you can see right here, this is just installed. It's using the 614 kernel. And uh, we also have the 68 and the 611, I think. Yeah, so till 2029. So I think that that is your LTS. This one is uh, an older kernel option. And of course, this one here is the current active uh, active kernel there. So if you do need that LTS, you can drop down to the 6.8 if you, uh, but the default will give you the a hardware enablement kernel there at 614. So there is what uh, what they are up to. And uh, of course, once this is out, which we should expect to see, uh, of course, the beta, this is coming out now around mid-August. I would probably expect to see the official release coming out probably the end of August, early September. And then the very next focus is going to be uh, working on LMDE 7, which is based on Debian 13, which also was just released. So uh, that is it. I did want to mention one more thing here in Linux Mint. One of the reasons I really like it is they had, a, um, they had some to change some of their moderations. This is, of course, because these ideologues keep showing up everywhere. And despite I'm accused of being an ideologue, I'm really not. I am here to talk about Linux. And um, uh, yeah, political points can come out uh, in news discussions. But when it comes down to talking about Linux, I want to talk about Linux. I don't want to get into anything else. And uh, basically, a lot of people were jumping on and attacking the project on ideological terms, not on technical terms. And, you know, Linux Mint is, uh, these are some, some people with strong character behind them that if you point out a problem in the operating system on a technical level, they're going to look at it and take it serious. But if you come in like, blah, 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 because of some blah, blah, blah political point, um, they're not going to tolerate that. And I actually like the stance that they're taking here. They say here there's no such thing as freedom of speech. Now, freedom of speech is an interesting one. And I see it, you know, I actually banned somebody from one of my other channels uh, because he was just being a jerk. You know, freedom of speech means that you have the ability to create your own platform and say whatever you want to say. It does not mean that you can come over my comment section and leave your dribble all over the place. <laughs> OK, uh, I'm not saying I ban people for stupid reasons. I'm just saying that that sometimes it's just like for, for the for the love and for the peace of the world, let's just tone it down. And if you cannot possibly be toned down, get out of here. Go start your own channel somewhere else and leave your dribble over there and I'll be free to watch or not watch. So I did really, really want to comment on that was in the bottom of this part. Of course, I, I missed this release. I usually do the uh, 
uh, discussion about this release, but it was right in the middle of all of the craziness that was going on in the last couple of weeks. Uh, I did want to point this out that, yes, um, I like Linux Mint because it does not take political stances. It's just here to make a good software. And for that reason, I really like it. And so that is our brief look. This one here is such a minor one. I do not see I'm going to have any major problems. So probably I'm going to give it about a week or two after this is officially released. And then I will do a video upgrading my 22.1 to 22.2 and see how that goes. Uh, let's go ahead and just have a very, very brief look at what this would look like under Wayland. So let's go ahead and log out of this system here. And um, of course, that's all under X. So now I can pull this guy down. I can go under our Wayland and let's see if it works. I didn't even try this prior to recording the video. So we'll see what happens here. So, okay. First thing, let's go ahead and change our display settings. So let's go ahead and change our display settings and we'll put our display settings back where we need to be. Keep these changes. And, uh, well, it looks like we got our display settings, but it didn't actually change our uh, wallpaper. Let's, uh, let's see if I can change my wallpaper there, change my desktop background. No, okay, well, apparently not. <laughs> Let me try doing this, try coming back full screen. Yeah, so you can see some Way Wayland still has a little bit of uh, a few, few issues here and there, so uh let's there we go we'll go with a cpu image so um this could be an artifact of being on the virtual machine so we'll give a little bit of that i'd want to test it out on a real hardware to see if i can do that of course one of the uh drives that i was using to test real hardware i put that into production so i'll have to buy another one of those um there's the matrix let's see how that works so the matrix of course is where you can get your um, your support since hex chat is no longer being uh, being developed. This might require you to create an account. I'm not sure. Let's just see how anything else works. Here's document scanner, LibreOffice. Okay, oh, no documents. Yeah, so over here you'd have to. Uh, okay, my document scanner does not want to uh, go away. Uh oh. Houston, we have some frozenness. Okay, there it goes. So, there you go. Here's LibreOffice. Spewing checker. Okay, it looks like a spewing checker works. There you go. All right, so uh, it does look like, other than that wallpaper things, basic tasks over here on Wayland are working. So we'd want to go ahead and give it a full test just to make sure. Again, a lot of what they're doing on Wayland is working on uh, keyboard inputs and uh, just streamlining some other things to make sure this works. So if you're uh, big on the Wayland team, you might want to be running this over on Wayland and see if you can... Uh, uh, report any bugs back to them. So there's our brief look at Linux Mint 22.2 .2 beta. Let me know your thoughts in the comments down below.